Yeah, she's working on, bro. Yeah. She's working on his BFA for English. Uh, what's the paper about? Uh, I think it's about a book called Butterfly Garden. Butterfly Garden? Oh, Butterfly Garden. Speaking of butterflies, then I, what girl did I see you with yesterday? Actually, I got her number. And I was supposed to meet this weekend, so you can hop on my case. Whoa, whoa. What y'all, what y'all finna do this weekend? Finna take me to the movies, but that's so scary. And how do you plan on getting to the movies? <laughs> well, I was hoping I could use your car. Use my car? Last time I let you use my car, I had to spend $120 on this. I know, I know. Sorry, Phil. But I promise it won't happen again, bro. Please, I just want this break out. Alright, alright, fine. But if anything happens, man, I'm on your head top. Alright, but what's for living? Come in. Hey, sir, how you doing? I just wanted to let you know that we've gathered more intel on the death of Victor. Let me see it. So it really took us no time at all to look through last week's police records and see who acquired the bounty. Who took it? It was acquired last Thursday by one Philip Coleman. Philip Coleman? Yeah, so what I got from Philip is his age is unspecified, his location is Greenwood, Ohio, but his relatives are mostly dead except for his little brother, Israel. Call my guys, tell them I got a job for him. What would that job be, sir? Seventy, no. Hundred thousand dollar bounty for Phil Coleman. I'll get right on it. I'll get right on it. Thank you. All right, hurry up and best of food. Right, close your eyes, close your eyes. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for this food. Bless it and cause it to be nourishing to our bodies and to give us strength. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <sighs> bro, it seems like those boxing matches did a number on you, bro. They're gonna destroy you. I'm telling you, when you graduate high school, right now a lot of the lessons are, you know, during your hours, so you won't really be able to do it. And on top of that, bro, I really don't think you're ready yet. This guy, man. Just wait till I graduate, bro. I'm gonna do you win. <laughs> we'll see about that one. Oh shoot, bro, he about to lose. Oh. Hey, catch this. Oh. Shoot. They really about to lose. Well, I hope my dog can't stand the Warriors. Uh, no, I can't stand them either, but I just can't beat them. They're the best team in league history. All right, I don't know about that, but I can't stand them. Well, I can't wait to let them win. Yeah, man. But what can you do? The Warriors are such a good team. and I mean, the Rockets put up a good fight, but... You just can't beat them. I guess. Ooh. It's looking like it's time for bed, champ. Come on, bro. Let me stay a little bit longer. Yeah, you know. Maybe I would if I didn't get an email from Miss Collie talking about you dozing off in class. Yeah, dead thing to find out about that. Yeah, so, uh, you should go to bed now. All right, good night, bro. Good night, guys.
in your head, but I'm going to make this simple so I don't have to deal with any more failures. We have Israel. I'm going to kill him in three hours if you do not turn yourself in and meet me at the place you killed my son. Hey man, I need a favor. 